my hobby. Today's story took place one evening last October. It was Indian summer, and I had gone out for a stroll after dining alone at the Lamplighters Club. Suddenly, a young girl rushed up and threw her arms about my neck. Darling, how are you? I beg your pardon. Mm. Well, after that, I'm sorry I'm not the man you were... Oh, pretend that you know me. I'm being followed. Followed? By whom? She's behind you, leaning against the bank building. Oh, no, no, don't turn around. Oh, there's a policeman on the corner. I'll call oh, no, him. no, no. A policeman would only make things worse. But... Oh, come, walk along with me. But... Here, I'll, I'll take your arm. He must be convinced that we're old friends. This is rather an amazing experience. Would you mind telling me your name? It's Claire Wesley. You've probably heard of my uncle, Howard Wesley. Howard Wesley? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, of course. He recently returned home after being marooned on the South Sea Island for more than 30 years. But yes, uh, Uncle Howard was the only survivor of the liner Bell Morrow. He had a most unusual experience. And what is your uncle's return to do with the man who uh, you believe is following you? A good deal. Barton Drake. What? Oh, you know my name. Oh, yes. Oh, please trust me. I, oh, I need your help. Oh? When Uncle Howard was living on his island, he discovered a buried treasure. Buried treasure? <laughs> now come, Miss Wesley. Oh, I'm serious, Mr. Drake. Uncle Howard drew a map. At first we thought, like you, that, well, perhaps he'd only been imagining finding a treasure. Mm-hmm. And uh, what convinced you otherwise? Well, he'd removed part of the treasure and, and brought it home with him. Oh, I see. What type of valuables were they? Well, a few old coins dated in the 16th century. A brooch and, and a ring. You've uh, checked and found them authentic? Yes. Two experts have guaranteed their authenticity. Well, well. And why exactly do you need my help? Because, well, because someone is trying to steal the map. Oh, Ever since the newspaper story was published, men have been coming to the house. And what makes you think their purpose is to steal the map? Because of the way Uncle Howard acts. He's terrified half the time and... Oh, here, this is where I live. Mm. My advice to you, Miss Wesley, is to get in touch with the police immediately. Oh, but perhaps... you don't understand. There have been threatening letters. Uncle Howard has been warned that, that he'll be murdered if he contacts the police. Miss Wesley, I still don't understand why that Uncle would Howard has people. been away so long, you see. Well, he's afraid of civilization. He told me he'd destroy the map if it would assure him of a peaceful existence for the rest of his days. I see. Tell me, are you uh, your Uncle Howard's only heir, Miss Wesley? No, no. There are him. Oh. And naturally, you don't want the map to be... Yes, you're quite right, Mr. Drake. Naturally, we don't want the map destroyed or stolen. Mm. It is worth a small fortune. I don't pretend that we're not interested in that fortune. I'd be a hypocrite to say otherwise. I admire your frankness, Miss Wesley. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Drake, will you come in and talk to Uncle Howard? But if your uncle's frightened of people, if he suspects that everyone's attempting to steal his map... I'll introduce you as my... as my fiancé. Your fiancé? You tempt me, Miss Wesley. Then... and you will come? How can I refuse? First, I'm accosted and kissed by a beautiful girl. Then asked to be her fiancé. Lead the way. <laughs> Mr. Drake. Uncle Howard's room is just down the hall. I'll call him. Thank you. Uh, Miss Wesley. Yes? Since we're, uh, supposed to be engaged, shouldn't we drop the formalities? Uh, just for appearances' sake, of course. Why, I... Well, I suppose so. Your uncle, I'm sure, would think it strange to hear his niece referring to the man with whom she's deeply in love as, uh, Mr. Drake. Deeply in... Oh, very well, Barton. Thank you, Claire. I'll be back in a moment. Uh, Life is interesting. (laughs) By Jove. Maybe something is the matter after all. I'm coming. Take it easy. Claire, what happened? Good heavens. It's Uncle Howard. He's been shot. He's dead. really don't expect me to believe that stuff about buried treasure and maps and shipwrecked millionaires, do you? I was as amused as you are, first inspector. But now you believe it, I... I don't know. A man's been murdered. Apparently, there were no other motives but obtaining possession of the treasure map. Treasure map. <laughs> Look, 
How did this guy happen to be rescued after being lost for 32 years anyhow? Well, according to the newspaper inspector, a fisherman found a sealed bottle on which there was a note written 32 years ago by Howard Wesley giving the location of his island. Shades of Captain Kidd. <laughs> but have you been reading adventure books or something? <laughs> you don't believe it, eh, Inspector? Of course not. Look, have you seen the treasure map or the note that was sealed in the bottle? Not yet, though. I expect you shortly. Oh, Claire, come in. Claire, this is Inspector Noah Danton. How do you do, Inspector Danton? Hi. Uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, but how long have you and uh, Claire known each other? Oh. Well, about an hour, Inspector. You see, Claire... An uh, hour, he says. And already he calls her Claire. I'm trying to explain, Inspector. You Mr. See... Drake, if you don't mind, I, I think we'd better forget the fact that we were engaged. Engaged? After all, my uncle has been... is dead. Yes, I know. However... Uh... Oh, please, Mr. Drake, I... I'd rather not discuss it. Mm. Very well, Miss Wesley, but I really can't believe your grief over your uncle's hmm? death is very sincere and... Uh... I beg your pardon. After all, you've known your uncle for less than a month. But I... According to the story, he disappeared 32 years ago. Are you, uh, 32 years old, Miss Wesley? Of course not. Which means that he disappeared several years before you were born. Say, that's right, isn't it? I'm afraid, Miss Wesley, that the bond of affection that you feel toward uh, your Uncle Howard is based on something much more practical than deep human emotion. I see. Very well, Mr. Drake. Since that's the way you feel, I'll have to ask you to leave. Whoa, just a minute, lady. Drake stays. There's been a murder, remember? I don't care if there has. Mr. Drake was working for me and... and... Now he's working for me. Go ahead, Bart. Ask your question. Thank you, Inspector. I'm sorry, Miss Wesley. Uh, is that the map of the buried treasure you're holding? Yes. If you care to look at it. Thank you. And now, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll go. Unless I'm to consider myself under arrest. Now look, young lady, we haven't got time to fool around with injured pride and... That sort of no, thing. Now, wait a minute, huh? Inspector. Miss Wesley, did you find the note that was taken from the sealed bottle? Find it? Mm. Why, oh, I think it's in my purse. Oh, yes, here it is. Thank you. In her purse, she carries it. Well, is there something wrong with that? Judd copied it off of the newspapers, and I put the note back in my purse. Well, how can you possibly Who's think... Who's Judd? He's my half-brother. Why? Just asking. What's the note say, by? I'll read it, Inspector. Whoever finds this... Please have the authorities broadcast by radio my location. Somewhere near 18 degrees south latitude and 175 degrees west longitude. Long ways away. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead, bud. I'm the sole survivor of the liner Bell Moro, wrecked four months after leaving New York. I shall go mad unless soon rescued. We'll try and hold out until help arrives. Find Howard Wesley. It doesn't tell us anything. I read the same thing in the newspapers a month ago. Yeah, so did I, Inspector. Miss Wesley, yes. if your uncle valued his treasure map so much, how was it that you were able to put your hand on it immediately? Uncle Howard valued my confidence also, Mr. Drake. Oh, so. Then he told you where the map was hidden. Yes. Hmm. Did Judd Graham also know the hiding place? Of course. However, Judd is inclined to disbelieve Uncle Howard's story of the buried treasure. Well, it's nice to know that someone's being smart in this deal. <laughs> oh, well... You still discredit the story of the buried treasure, eh, Inspector? Sure I do. Why, doggone it. Why, Inspector? Why what? Why do you discredit the story? Because it doesn't make sense. No? Now, look, this is the room where Howard Wesley was found murdered, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, look around. Everything's in order, nothing touched, no drawers open, no rugs pulled up, nothing. Mm hmm well. If the guy who murdered Wesley was looking for the buried treasure map... He'd have turned the place upside down. You're forgetting, Inspector, that the map was hidden in another room. Miss Wesley just brought it to us. Okay. How about it, Miss Wesley? Was the other room ransacked? Why, no. As a matter of fact, it wasn't. There. I guess that proves my point. I'm not mm -hmm. dumb, you know, Bart. You certainly aren't, Inspector. Your reasoning in this particular instance was most logical. Well, thanks, Bart. It seems nice to have you agree with me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Inspector, but I don't agree with you. Huh? I think that the person who murdered Howard Wesley believes there is a buried treasure. I believe his motive for murder was to secure possession of that map. I also believe that the murderer will return here within 24 hours. Yeah. 
Hello, Betty. Well, Judd Graham, where have you been? I got here as quickly as I could. Quickly as you could? That's a lie. You've been drinking. You stopped at Tony's. Oh, Betty, listen to Take me. Take your I... hands off I... me. I told you what the deal was going to be. Well, did you get the map? Oh, be reasonable, Betty. I did what you told me. I tried to find it. Oh, Judd. And you promised. I know I promised, and I'll keep the promise. Believe me, I will. Oh, how can I believe you now? Oh, Betty, listen to me. The map's around the house somewhere. It's got to be. You've been saying that for a month. What if someone else finds it first? Oh, how can they? Claire and I are the only ones allowed in the house. Well, but Claire might... Oh, have... that's nonsense. Even if Claire did know where Uncle Howard had hidden the map, she wouldn't steal it. Are you sure? I'm positive. Claire... Well, Claire isn't that kind of girl. Oh, I see. Then you think that I am. No, no, I, I don't think that at all. I... I think you're the most wonderful girl in the world. Do you, Jack? You know I do. Judd. Yes, Betty? Love me? Yes, I... I love you so much, I... I sometimes think I'll go mad. Darling, kiss me. Uh, uh, Betty, I... You... You will go away with me, won't you? Well, of course I will, Judd, darling. And we're going to be terribly happy together. Uh, only... Yes, yes. Only you want me to get the map. But, darling, don't you see? We haven't any money. It wouldn't be any fun without money, and well, so many people would pay us for the map. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll try again. Well, you don't want to. Oh, I do, Betty. I do. I said I would, didn't I? You didn't sound very convincing. You don't seem to care what I want. Oh, Betty, stop talking like that. You know that's all I care about. Well... I'll get the map for you, Betty. If it's what you want, I'll get it. Even if I have to... If I have to kill Uncle Howard. Well, I must say, Mr. Drake, I'm not much impressed with your method of solving a murder. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Wesley. What would you suggest I do? Oh, I don't know, I'm sure, but... I'm not a detective. If I were, I'd certainly do more than merely sit around waiting for the murderer to put in an appearance. Then you don't think he will? Certainly not. That story about a criminal returning to the scene of his crime is a, is a fallacy. Is it really? Well, very well. Laugh at me. But I've read a dozen times where that theory's been exploded. I'm not laughing, Miss Wesley. Furthermore, I've read the same thing. But, of course, being Barton Drake, you're going to prove that the authorities are wrong. Mm, I'm going to attempt to... I can tell you better what my chances of success are after Inspector Danton has completed his search of the house. Just what does Inspector Danton expect to find as the result of his search? I don't know. Possibly he thinks the murderer might be lurking in some dark closet ready to pop out at us. I'm not amused, Mr. Drake. No? Well, then perhaps you'd like to accompany me on an errand I have to do. Well, under the circumstances... My destination is a reference room of the morning ledger. But I don't believe that I... I'm quite sure I can show you something of interest, Miss Wesley. I see. You're not... Asking me to go? You're demanding. Oh, come, Miss Wesley. You suspect me of murdering my uncle. All right. I'm your prisoner. But a very charming prisoner. Will you get your hat, please? Let me see now. September 5th. September 6th. Here we are, Saturday, September 8th. If you're looking for the account of my uncle's rescue, it's on page 7. Thank you, Miss Wesley. Page 7. Here it is. Lost millionaire rescued after 32 years on South Sea Island. Well, do you no good to read the entire account, Mr. Drake? You'll find that everything I've told you is true. Are you bored, Miss Wesley? Well, I've had more exciting times. <laughs> Miss Wesley, you are a very charming prisoner. Your flattery is wasted, Mr. Drake. Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me, please. Howard Wesley, millionaire, who was believed drowned from his yacht, the Bell Morrow. Well, what do you know about that? So, Mr. Wesley's taking up temporary residence with his niece, Miss Claire Wesley, at a home on Clark Street. Hmm. I suppose that that, hmm, you mean to imply that you've made a great discovery? Indeed, I do, Miss Wesley. Well, what, for goodness sake? For one thing, I'm surprised to learn that your uncle was picked up in a small boat, which he had manufactured himself. How remarkable. The fact that Uncle Howard manufactured a boat of his own gives Barton Drake a clue to the identity of his murderer. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it, Miss Wesley? Well, let's go back to the house. Inspector Danton will be uh, getting impatient. <laughs> Well, 
Well, here we are, Betty. You wait outside. Oh, and I'll... nothing doing. This time I'm going to see to it that you really look for that map. Yeah, but Claire might be home. Oh, I hope she is. Time I met that sister of yours. Say, you're not ashamed to introduce me to her, are you? Of course not. I, I want you to meet her, darling. Only. Only what? Uh, nothing, nothing. Hey, come along. Why did you ring the bell? Well, if Claire's home, I don't want to go barging in on her unannounced. Mm. Well, no one's answered the bell. Have you got a key? Hey, yes, I, I've got one. Mm. No one here that have heard us before now. I guess you're right. Well, where's your uncle's Hey, name? come with me. You're sure he keeps a map in the house? Oh, yes, he wouldn't trust it anywhere else. Mm. Uh, uh, this is Uncle Howard's room here. Well, at least he doesn't keep his door locked. Well, it wouldn't do him any good. The keys to all the rooms are the same. Nobody here. Uncle Howard and Claire probably went out together. They usually do at this time of day. Well, come on, let's get started. Well, you begin at the bureau, and I'll go through his desk. Mm, okay. Hey, what does the map look like, anyway? Oh, it's just an ordinary piece of oh. paper. All right, you two, get your hands up. Say, oh. what is this? Who the devil are you? Santa Claus. Now, do you get your hands oh, Don't do it, Judd. He's after the map. Go, go and get him. Yeah, get him. get him. How about it, bub? Are you going to take the babe's advice or mine? I got the gun, you know. Well, what is it you want? If it's the map, you're wasting your time. Bob, in just a second, I'm going to waste a bullet. Oh, don't believe him, Judd. He wouldn't dare shoot. Lady, it looks like you're asking me to plug holes in your boyfriend. All now, right, all right, all right. I, I've got my hands up. Now, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to tell this babe to shut up, for one thing. Oh, don't listen to him, Judd. He's going to try and make you tell where the map is. Lady, if you don't button up your lip, I'll... Tell him who you are, Judd. Tell him you live here. Tell him... Live here? Tell him, of course, he lives here. Who do you think you are, breaking into honest people's houses? You're just a now, great... wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bob, is your name Judd Graham? Well, of course he's Judd Graham. You knew he was all the time. Now get out of here before we call the police. Oh, shut up. I won't shut up. You won't make me shut up. I know why you're here. Why? What? I said why. What? Now, just a minute, Betty. For heaven's sake, calm down. There's nothing we could do so long as he has the gun. Bob, you're smart. Now, look. Uh, What's that? Don't get excited. It's only Drake. Drake? Who's he? You'll see in a minute. Hey, Bart. Bart. Down here. Coming, Inspector. Well, well, what have we here? A talking machine and a guy who says his name is Judd Graham. A couple of cops. Judd, what in the world has happened? Perhaps you can tell us, Claire. If this man is a friend of yours, I wish you asked him to point that gun the other way. But why is he pointing it at you at all? Doesn't he know who you are? Sure, he knows who we are. We just told him, but the big flat foot hasn't got any sense. One more crack out of you, lady, and I'll... You uh, what? Just a minute, please, please. Inspector, whom did you think these uh, two people were? How should I know? They come sneaking in here, began poking around. I figured they were looking for the map. The map? Oh, then it's all a mistake. Judd wouldn't have to look for the map. He knows as well as I where Uncle Howard kept it. What was that? Uh, Now, now just a minute, Betty. Why, you double-crossing, two-timing chiseler. What kind of a sucker do you think you're playing me for? Oh, Betty, listen, you've got to listen. I didn't know. Honest. Honest, Claire only thought I did. Oh, Judd, that's not so. All the lousy tricks. Hey, I'm getting out of here. Just a minute. Get out of my way, Breaker, Jake, or whatever your name is. Uh, Inspector. Yeah, it'll be a pleasure. All right, lady, relax. Keep your hands off of you. If Betty wants to leave, she can. Says who? Oh, Mr. Drake, will you please explain what this is all about? It's Judd's business if he wants to bring his... his girls to the house. Yes, but it's not Judd's business when there's a crime involved. A crime? What the devil are you talking about? In a minute, I'll explain, Graham. Tell me, was it really the map you were looking for, or, um... This slip of paper. What slip of paper? Where did you get that? Your sister gave it to me. She had it in her purse ever since you copied it off and gave the story to the newspapers. But that's only the note that Uncle Howard wrote and placed in the sealed bottle. But Judd... Do you want to tell her, Judd? Why, uh, I, uh... Naturally, you don't. But suppose you tell me why you pretended to this young lady that you'd been searching for the map. Or shall I tell you? Yeah. Yeah, you tell us, smart guy. Frankly, I... I can only guess. Judd, are you in love with Betty? Well, I... Yes, I am. I thought so. Up until she read about your uncle's treasure map, Betty wouldn't marry you, is that correct? That's none of your business. But I'm making it my business for a very definite reason, Judd. When Betty read about the treasure map, she asked you to get it. She figured it would be worth considerable money. She threatened to break your engagement if you didn't get it. Now, look here, Drake, you can't... I'm only uh, guessing, Graham. You can deny my statements any time you like. Oh, what's the use? Sure, you're right. 
I told Betty I'd get her the map. I... I didn't want to lose it. But you never found the map, even though you knew where it was all the time. Instead, you kept searching for this note. Yes, sir, that's but right. But why, Judd? Why? I'll answer that, Miss Wesley. Judd knew the map was worthless. He knew there wasn't any treasure. He knew that unless he found and destroyed the note which your uncle allegedly wrote, someone would reveal the hoax and his girlfriend would lose interest. Hoax? What do you mean, hoax? I'm sorry, Miss Wesley. The man who told you he was your uncle was an imposter. He was never shipwrecked. In fact, I doubt if he was ever out of the city. Well, now, isn't that just dandy? So Uncle Howard made chumps out of the whole bunch of us, huh? Well, okay, so we lose. Well, anyway, we're still alive, and that's something. What do you mean, we're still alive, miss? Well, we are, aren't we? And that old coot... Go on. Nothing. Now, I wasn't going to say anything. On the contrary, you were going to say that that old coot was dead. I wasn't. I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm afraid you do, miss. How did you know that Uncle Howard was dead? Well, I didn't. Hey, you're not going to pin this on me. Let me out of here. You're not going to get me. Inspector. Don't worry. She won't get away. Relax, lady. Oh. You've got nothing to worry about. You're only under arrest for committing first-degree murder. <laughs> I guess we cleaned that one up pretty fast, eh? Yes, yes, I guess we did, Inspector. <laughs> you know, Uncle Howard wasn't so dumb at that. You're quite right, Inspector. He planned his hoax skillfully and nearly succeeded in fooling everyone. Yeah. If he'd sold that map, he'd have been set for life. He certainly would. Too bad for him that the babe decided to come looking for the map herself, got caught and had to shoot good old Uncle Howard. Yes, a pity, Inspector. The thing is, Uncle Howard fooled everyone but Drake, eh? Mm, you're quite wrong, Inspector. Judd Graham wasn't fooled for a minute. Is that so? Very much so, Inspector. It was Judd, you know, who gave the story of the sealed note to the newspapers. Well? Well, when Judd copied off the note for him, he omitted one phrase... One phrase? Yeah. What is that? He omitted the phrase that said, Whoever finds this, please have the authorities broadcast by radio my location as somewhere near 18 degrees south latitude and 175 degrees west longitude. No such location, eh? No such thing as a radio 32 years ago, Inspector. <laughs> well, I'll be a, a cross-eyed goose. Say... <laughs> yes, Inspector. Where are you going? Well, if you'll pardon me, Inspector... I'm going to find Claire. So, it's Claire again. What do you want to see her for? I want to explain to her, Inspector, in a negative sort of way, that among other things, mystery is my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> 